Hello again. Uh, we've been uh, looking at uh, some passages from the Gospel of Mark recently, and today we're going to look at uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 21, and then 31 to 35. And those verses say this. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, for they said, he's out of his mind. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they told him, your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my mother and brothers? he asked. Then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. It's very easy to forget, isn't it, that until Jesus' ministry started at about the age of 30, uh, he'd been a member of a fairly normal family. He had brothers and sisters. He did normal things. He'd been a carpenter and probably made quite a reasonable living at it. Um, and he, then he gave it up. All of a sudden just gave it up and walked away to become an itinerant preacher with nowhere really to call his home. It must have seemed crazy to them that he would just walk away from the family business the way that he did. Even more so when they heard about some of the things that he was saying and doing, the way that he was challenging the Pharisees and the, the teachers of the law. Um, doing that kind of thing was only ever going to end badly for him. So they went to try and talk some sense into him. And he obviously realised what they were there for. He realised what, what they were up to. So he asked his question, who are my mother and brothers? That question had a deep purpose to it. He was asking the people in the room, the people who were there with him, are you with me? Are you, with, are, are you in this ministry with me? Are you, are you prepared to go with me on this journey? And the statement that he made, whoever does God's will is my brother and my sister and my mother. Those questions are still as valid for us as they were when he first asked them. Are you with Jesus? Are you prepared to do God's will? Because he could see that his mother and his brothers, in, well-intentioned as they were, were a distraction to the things that God had called him to. Difficult questions for him, difficult questions for us, but worth pondering. Let's pray. Lord, I pray that you would keep us as close to you as a brother or a sister. Strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to walk with you always, to do God's will, no matter what uh, other calls or distractions might appear in our lives. So I pray, Lord, that you'd come and bless us today. Strengthen us and let us hear your call. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.